Now it's pouring with rain outside, can't you see? You hear that? No, actually, it's not really. What happens if it's raining on your moving day? Do removalists work? Yes, of course, yes they do. What precautions can you take to make sure that your precious items stay dry and safe and also you stay safe on moving day? Well, I have some great handy hints and tips. Hang about, they're about to come up very shortly. It's always safety first. If it's truly raining cats and dogs on your moving day, you really have to think about rescheduling. But most likely, if it's just a little bit of rain, then you're going to be pushing ahead with your moving day. Follow the weather reports as soon as you know when you're going to be booking in your moving day. A couple of apps that I love to use is you have Willy Weather that you can download onto your phone as well as Oz Radar Light. Or go to the bomb, always plan for the fact that you might have some rain on your moving day. Appropriate footwear is an absolute must. Definitely not like what I'm wearing at the moment. So thongs aren't going to cut it. You need something that's going to be nice and grippy. Make sure that you also have some, you know, warm weather gear because if you're going to be wet for a long time, you want to make sure that you've got some changes of clothes or something that's going to keep you warm. Really take care of taping boxes, make sure they're extra sturdy, and particularly in the vulnerable parts like the corners and the bases. If they do happen to get a little bit damp, you don't want them giving way with all your precious items. Think about having some extra towels to make sure that you can wipe things over before you start to lift them. I'd also keep some garbage bags handy. With any small box that you don't want to get damaged or wet, you can just wrap them up into a garbage bag and they'll be completely protected. So if you've gone to the trouble of actually packing up your artwork in proper artwork boxes, you should maybe wrap that in plastic or even in some blankets and um, other tarps and tie them up. Really protect them from the rain. The same goes for all your electrical items. So things like your TVs, computers, you need to make sure that they are covered with plastic and tarps, blankets, just to really keep moisture away from those electrical components because that's where the damage will get done. I would keep on hand things like um, portable fans, heat, hair dryers. The quicker you can get things dry, the better you're going to be. You're going to reduce any risk of mold developing or just that, you know, stinky, damp smell happening. Now it's all about the logistics of a wet weather move. Keeping the mud out of the houses. You line the hallways and the entryways with, you know, um, mats, uh, tarps, blankets, anything you can. It's really gonna be hard for people to take shoes on and off constantly, particularly if they're ca carrying heavy items. So you're gonna to have to expect they're coming inside with wet and damp shoes you have enough people and also the removalists that are, are agreeable with having some extra hands to help, create an assembly line. This way you'll be able to get items from the truck without it traipsing all the way through the dirt and the mud and everything and into the house. The people going in and out of the house are going to be people that haven't been with their feet and their boots in the mud. And prioritize those items that absolutely must stay dry, that it's imperative that they don't get a little bit of water on them at all. Because you can always try and get those loaded on quickly or if the weather happens to break, you'll know that these are the items that you've got to start moving now before it starts to rain again. Can you provide some extra shelter? Can you set up a marquee or a gazebo or a tent just outside the truck? Is that way you can also move items and start placing them there so that the removalists can then get the items into the truck without them getting too damp or just sitting there waiting. Everything is most likely going to go slower. The packing's going to be slower. The moving from the house to the truck, then from the truck to the other house is going to be slower because of the rain. The traffic on the road is going to be slower. Everything will most likely be slower that day. So just be prepared that it will take longer than you first anticipated. Making sure that you're all organized and sorted. Have your items ready to go so that the removalists aren't waiting around for you to still continue to pack and make it as easy as possible for your removalists to load and unload all your items.